Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to a Space Engineers Workshop Review. Today we are taking a look at the PFS-80-Dash Go Low Altitude Armed Transport. That's certainly a mouthful. This is made by the creator Lord Commissar. I believe we've checked out a load of his creations before. I'm certainly remembering a few of them. Anyway, this is like a, just basically a gunship. When I read Low Altitude Armed Transport, it reminded me of Star Wars The Clone Wars, or just Star Wars in general. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to look around at this. Now the reason this caught my eye on the workshop is it kind of reminded me of a ship from somewhere, some sci-fi universe. So, I don't know, Mass Effect it might be with these sort of wings going down here. Yes, we're also in a survival world by the way, you can ignore the RWI ship. Shameless plug. Anyway, looking around the ship, we've got two cockpits here. Obviously this being a transport, it kind of takes away from Clone Wars in a while. Having the two um, rares, so maybe one of these is most likely the pilot's well, so other could be the gunner and stuff like that to control these turrets. I need to focus on these wings here. I love the use of these wings here. Using the two turrets to build them up as well. Having spotlights built into them. The spotlights are pretty bright. If we turn them on. Oh no, it's F9 Jack. There, look at that. Damn, they're bright. Oh no, F8. So yeah, they're pretty good. Got rocket pods up here as well. They were on my hotbar though, were they? No, were they on the other one? Oh, you got more control up here. That's nice, isn't it? Anyway, we'll look at more of the internal systems in a minute. Starting from the front, so we need to start from the front, Jack. We have Gatling guns here. We've got conveyors running down here as well, as well as cargo containers. That's pretty cool. Loads of atmospheric thrusters here at the back, as well as a sensor and a camera block. Look at all those thrusters, obviously, that's keeping the altitude transport flying. Always a good sign. Sensors, don't know what the sensor actually does, we'll find out in a bit. Camera, so you can see when you're connecting things, as well as the giant connector. A load of more atmospheric thrusters leading back up to the tail of a ship, where we go along to find a couple of reverse thrusters. Some side thrusters, and they're just tail. We've also got two lights on there as well. Possibly warning lights is what I'm guessing. Now going back over the top, we've got our main propulsion engines, which is two giant atmospheric thrusters, mixed in with three smaller atmospheric thrusters on each side. That's our main propulsion. Moving down around underneath, we have these awesome use of these corner blocks here to kind of create this ambient feel of red light here. Be interesting if those could turn green, like um, red light standby, green light at go, 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 or something like that. We've also got a couple of seats here, so passengers can take a seat and get ready to deploy when it lands. Always a good idea. Not really much to do internal-wise. I mean, you've got access there and stuff like that. I think you can kind of just look through. That's all you can do. Loads of reactors are going through there as well. Always good to reactors. Highlighting over wings, like I said earlier, we've got the rocket pods. A few extra cameras there as well. The camera model actually looks really decent built in here. If only that extended the whole block, that'd be cool. If it extended the whole block. Anyway, let's take this thing for a spin. Oh wait, we've got LCD panels up here as well, so I think they're used for the cockpit later on. It's nice to have them there. So the description of this ship is, The Ghoul is the next in line atmospheric gunships, following the same successful features found in the Gargoyle series. However, it's more dedicated to troop transport than the Gargoyle, with a carrying capacity of four troops. It also contains many weapons of its own for aerial support of infantry movements. Sounds pretty cool. Right, what does a program block do? Rocket fire on, oh this fires the rockets. Ooh. This is cool. I, I approve of this. Is there never a reload? Because so, this, this could be quite good. Those are spawning infinite trees. And we turn them off. I think we cause a lot of damage to the hillside there. That actually looks really cool. I like. This is those rockets causing a lot more damage to the ground lately. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got running lights on. Oh, this is the other cockpit, isn't it? Let's hop in the other one a minute. So this is apparently running lights. Oh, there we go. You see, he blinked at the back there. Always good. I did have them. What else have we got? Um, landing lights. Do we have landing lights. Oh, look at those. Some landing lights. That's pretty nice. Some of our corner blocks over here. Those look pretty cool. We've got crew lights on and off, these are already on, so there's those red lights I believe, there we go, on off. Number 6 is our side view. Uh, number 7 is our other side view, number 8 is our downward view, that's pretty cool. Um, let's click out of that. Number 9 is extra batteries I believe, batteries on and off. Flight, remember that side and reverse first exist on the gunship only for stability purposes. Ah oh, wait, so that only exists for stability purposes, that's pretty cool. For best results, treat it like a helicopter and bank hard when turning to cancel that lateral movement. That's pretty cool. Let's see if fingers moves. So treat it like a helicopter. I'm going to tilt forward a bit. This thing picks up speed really quickly. Oh, 
Oh, this is quite nice. I like. You can imagine just flying into a war zone like this, can't you? Oh. So for those of you wanting a crash test, you just got one because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, there's your crash test. Whoops. Anyway, guys, this gunship is pretty amazing. Well done to Lord Commerce for building a pretty cool gunship. I especially like the shape and design of it, especially the wings here. That is like the selling point of this ship to myself. The use of Gatlin turrets on the inbuilt wings there, really cool. And I like the two cockpits as well. And also your little logo on the side. Sticking your logo on the ship, that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the gunship down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know as you liked it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Captain Jack. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.